Hi, I'm Kevin Harrington, and I'm here with my beautiful co-host, Forbes Riley. We've seen her on TV for many years as a fitness trainer, as well as a TV host. And, well, and of course, Kevin, you know as the original shark from Shark Tank, and thank you for the beautiful comment. You bet. Well, I'll tell you what, we both have children who are not yet in college, and our next guest is going to help solve some of our major issues, and possibly yours as well. Please welcome Jamie Dickinson. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Oh, I love her smile, don't you? Yes, and Jamie, you're a, a certified educational planner. You're a, an author, a speaker, a coach, as well as a radio talk show host. Pretty amazing background. Thank you. And what are you committed to doing? I'm committing to helping parents who think they can't afford to pay for their kids to go through college, mm. to really help them, to let them know that there are numerous ways to help get money for college. And then on the other hand, to help the kids try to chart out their future, you know, because that's a big decision for a family. You know, we're talking about your kids and your money. What else is there? It's like a big thing. <laughs> now, how did you come to do what you do? Well, you know what? I was an accounting major and an MBA in finance. So for a lot of years, I did accounting, which I hated. And I was good at it, but I didn't like it. And then I went off and started doing financial services. And I'd go out and meet with people. And they'd say, you know, just try to sell them something. They'll do anything for their kids. And so I was started helping people invest money for college educations. And then it dawned on me one day, hey, you got to work with the kids too. You can save the money, but you know, you've got to make sure it's the right university, the right fit, you know, the right major. And so in 1998, I started my college planning business mm. and the rest was history. I know one of the things that, that we talked about earlier, uh, when kids are ready to go to college, it, they should, they, some people think it's hard to get into colleges and maybe there are a few that it is, but it's actually, sort of a, a buyer's market, really, when you have money to spend or even if you don't have the money to spend, right? If you look at statistics, like 76% of the kids get into all the universities that they apply to, but they get so stressed out thinking they're not gonna get admitted anywhere. I mean, and if you think about it, you know, when I was studying my MBA, I hated economics. I'd sit in class and I'd think, I don't know, well, I gotta study this. And now all I do every day is give kids an economics lesson and parents. Hmm. You know, it's economics, it's supply and demand. I mean, you know, one college's trash could be another college's treasure. Yeah. Okay, you know? so let's start at the beginning because I don't know about you, but I yeah. had a terrible guidance counselor and basically no help. And I was the first time college going, my parents didn't go to college. And now I'm at the point where I've got two 12 year olds. So, you know, you go back to the very beginning. Did you have a good guidance counselor and tell you that you should go into a certain career? My guidance counselor knew nothing about me, but in my 15 minutes with her, she said, you're good in math. Right. I should be good in math. My mom's a math teacher. <laughs> and being an accountant, and you always have a job. Well, to where I came from to have a job was really a big deal. So I went to Marshall University, majored in accounting, always had a job, always had money, but I just hated it. I'd drive home every day and I'd cry. And, I'd, and when you hit the alarm and you dread to get out of bed every day, it's such a starry existence. And so, you know, I don't want your 12 year olds to, you know, dread to get out of bed every day. I want to help them find their passion, find what they're naturally gifted at, you know? So now Nick is, your, your son uh, is how old? He's a senior in high school. He's and has he picked a college? He hasn't picked his college yet, no. But uh, we're working on him. But we're oh, working, oh, you yeah, are we're, working, we're working on him. Yes, okay. See, now I'm college planner to <laughs> <Yeah>. the stars. <laughs> See, I didn't start looking at college till sophomore, junior year, but right. I want to ask you, when do you recommend that kids and parents start thinking about college? Well, planning for college as far as the kids, middle school, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Wow. I really like them young. You know why? Then I'm not like my guidance counselor. I've had plenty of time to get to know them, know what they like, know what their personalities are. In my head, try to figure out what would be a great university that would be a good fit for them. And then, but for parents, you need to start saving the minute they're born. Okay. <laughs> because yeah. it, if you think about the fact that the cost of college it is going up much more than the cost of inflation, I think statistically, if a gallon of milk had gone up as fast as rate of college, we'd be paying over $30 a gallon for milk. Yep. Um, One of the main things though that you talk about is how to, to do it affordably and maybe on cents on the dollar. You, you told me an amazing story earlier about a, a big college at a big savings. Can you, can you tell us about that so everyone else listening can hear about that? Well, you know, there's public universities, private universities, and uh, what happens a lot of times is people will look at the cost of attendance of a school and will not choose that. And you know, in accounting, we understand it's not the gross, it's the net. Right. right. So you can look at a $60,000 a year university, but what matters is what's gonna be net out of pocket for a parent. Right. And that's one thing I think I have above other educational consultants around the country is that I can do the money side of it. Right. Well, you so, got a great story about a young student that you got in 
for a lot less than the school costs. I have a student this year, Isaac, who is will be attending Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. for $7,000 net out of pocket. Wow. Wait, 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 no, wait, that's a $60,000 school. Right. How did you do? What did you do? Well, and you know, everything's based on families and their grades and everything. He was a stellar student and the family, you know, needed money. And Georgetown took great care of this kid. So it's, it's just such a great success story to have a kid from, you know, West Virginia go and compete academically with the world and be successful. Would they have ever been able to do that without you? Probably not because the key is they miss, that what happens is parents will miss deadlines. And the minute you miss a deadline in financial aid, you're, you're messed up, whether it's scholarships or grants or whatever, they all have deadlines. And so we're always about eight months ahead of ourselves trying to find money for college. Mm. So procrastination in the college admissions and financial aid game really will it cost really you money. Really what you do is you package the student in, in order to sell that student into the college, much like uh, people package loans to get a bank to finance the bank. You're, you're really well, looking- Well, actually right? what I do is I try to help them package themselves okay. so that they can market themselves. Right. I mean, think how hard it is for us as adults to sell ourselves, you know, to go on TV, to talk to the world. It's hard when you know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You can imagine when you're 16 years old and they're trying to write about themselves. I mean, that's one of the things that is the hardest part that they do when they're and filling out their them? admission application. Yeah, I was writing their college essay to, to tell, you know, a university that they're quiet and serious and conscientious or that they're enthusiastic and spontaneous and fun loving. It's difficult for kids to talk about themselves. I don't think I ever thought about having someone help me with that who was an outsider who also had a chance to look at everyone else. That's genius. Well, here's Sorry, the genius. difference. When, when kids are filling out their admission applications, they're so used to writing for, like, for English teachers. Right. They write from their head. When they write for a college admissions officers, they got to write from their heart. Mm. And so a college admissions officer doesn't get to sit and know your kids like I get to. They're going to open up a folder and make a decision about that student based on what they see. So they have to be able to put themselves on paper and give a true picture of themselves. Speaking about on paper, your book. Too Smart for the Ivy League. Explain who should read this book and who will benefit from it. Anyone that remotely is thinking about sending their kids mm. to college should get this book. Okay, this you one's know. mine. <laughs> yes, you can have that one. I, this and one's it's, mine. It's very common. <laughs> Which story. one is yours? <laughs> you know, and I mean, anybody that knows me is I'm pretty outspoken and blunt, matter of fact, and I just call a spade a spade. And this is really the no nonsense way to help get your student into the right college fit academically, socially, emotionally, and most of all financially for your pocketbook. Because that's really, you know, higher ed's about to break the back of most American families. Mm. I mean, and it doesn't really matter whether you're very rich or very poor, everyone loves their kids and everyone wants them to have happy, bright futures. And you know, everybody wants, values their money. Do you know what, I have a horror story. I'm just, I'm just thinking about it because my parents, I got into a private university. My dad had been in the hospital. I thought we were gonna get financial aid didn't come through at all. And my parents helped me pay, they were in, we were in debt for 25 years after I went to school. And they were partners of mine to help me do this. That doesn't seem fair. No, no. no. And, and you know what, as business people, we're always talking about the return on the investment. Oh, what I, is the return <laughs> on the investment? It was a pretty good return on the investment. Well, eventually. Right. Return on the investment. <laughs> but, eventually. but you have to think about that, you know. If you could have saved them a you, hundred times over, you would have been their hero. It, there's a, some very powerful words right here for the least amount of money to get into college. That's that's the key, and and, and that's what when you talk about a sixty thousand dollar a year college that you got someone in for seven thousand dollars, but you have to know when and how to fill out the forms, how to package it, how to present it. But just to have that's an powerful. advocate. You know, everyone talks about how important a college education is. How do you? There's three thousand schools in this country, aren't there? How do you pick it? And I'll tell you what. As a parent, I only, I love my children, but I only have so much time. Right. And I, there's no guidance. I don't even know when their homework's supposed to come home and do all that. How am I supposed to remember and know about college? And this is a huge decision. You can help with us. I have been on over 650 campus tours. So I mm. have toured the majority of the campuses in the country. My favorite thing is to get to know the kids. Yeah. I do the Myers-Briggs personality assessments with them uh -huh. and then try to, in my head, figure out where I think they would truly love. So then as a family, you all can go out and walk college campuses. I mean, your kids are looking for a home somewhere. They're gonna go live and be just as happy and healthy and safe there as they are at house. Big decision, not one to be taken lightly and say, 
well, you know, I'll just go across the street or wherever. It's a big you deal. Know, I have a personal story because I asked Jamie to help me with my son who has some musical talent. So mm -hmm. instantly, within 24 hours, I had a list of all the places that she said would be perfect for Nick. Some within the state, some out of the state, give me all these different options, financial options, et cetera, et cetera. And so, some that don't mind that his father's a shark. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> we won't tell them. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? If you think about it, you don't have time. So wouldn't you rather just have a list of eight or nine schools that then you could systematically go look that we've already oh, decided would be a great fit? Let me tell you something. I've got twins. If I get it wrong the first time, I've messed them both up and they're both different and, and, and I don't know the answers. And I think having you on our team would be a blessing. Do me a favor, can you look at that camera with your book? Because there's other moms out there and dads like me who are great, you don't need to be too much of an ad, but, <laughs> but who are, one, or are great parents, but if we miss this, it's too late, right? No, it's never too late. I don't want anybody to ever think it's too late, but you know what? If you love your kids and if you value your money, this is a great book. It's it's really just my belief and and the way that I do things. Not that that's always the best, but it's just mine. And uh, I'm really, really proud of it. It's taken a lot of work and a, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get it here. But you know, hopefully you will buy it and hopefully it will just really save you some money and if nothing else, maybe it'll keep peace in the family. Mm. Because if you think about it, this becomes a very stressful time during senior year. Mm -hmm. and, and I say sometimes it becomes extremely stressful because it's almost God's way of like letting you let them go off to college oh. because it's been so stressful yeah. senior year. So, but it, it becomes stressful for family. So I would rather you talk about something more wonderful over yeah. dinner than ACT, SAT test scores and how are we going to pay for college and where are you going to get in? I mean, you know, it's it's a lot. And especially like sometimes if you have divorced parents, mm -hmm. it becomes even more stressful. Hey, Jamie, it's so amazing to listen to your story coming from accounting in West Virginia. You're now a radio talk show host. You travel the country, 650 colleges you've been to. I mean, um, I think I've been to two college campuses, Penn <laughs> State where my older son went to and the University of Cincinnati where I went to. So, And that includes know. Canada and the United Kingdom. I've been on college tour, uh, you know, internationally. How do people find you? Uh, well, you can find me at the website at the bottom of the screen, but jamiedickinson.com, uh, it's really easy to find me. Or Google, best college planner in West Virginia. Oh, sure. <laughs> Because you know why? I'm well, the only one. <laughs> well, I, so think I have a monopoly there. You might be the best ever. <laughs> Thank you. What a yeah. wonderful thing that you do. Tell me about some success story, some parent and child that is just in love with you right now because of the stuff, that, something you did for them. You know what? There is not a more heartwarming thing in the world than to watch a high school for senior transfer into a college freshman mm -hmm. and then you know it's very emotional for moms mm -hmm. as well as it is for dads but I, I have a student that came back and stood in my office with twins under each arm oh. and said I hope you'll still be doing this in 18 years <laughs> oh. you know how could how could you ever have anything mm -hmm better. Mm. You know, it's very rewarding. Beats the heck out of being an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. You are such it a is delight. so fun. It's just a great job and you know, maybe there are other people out there that would like to be an educational consultant, you know, and I do coaching on that as well. So oh, wait, wait, I just do no, training. You, you, you glossed over that. So if somebody else might want to do what you do, right? you will be willing to train that as well? I train them, yes. Mm. Oh, so nice. We do, well, I do training, I do coaching and and so, because I have a lot of my kids, right now I have one of my students who came back working with me who said, I want to do what you do. So I've had that happen before, so I'll train you. Oh, that's lovely. It's amazing. A lot of profit centers. Uh, you're, you're very entrepreneurial now, so uh, congratulations on building your business. And, Thank you. Um, fantastic. And have you hired an accountant? Just <laughs> no, Lord, I better use my accounting degree for something. My mom will kill me. <laughs> You're so right. I can tell if I am or am not making any money. There you go. Well, thank you so very much. Thank and I'm, you. And all of our kids, thank you as well. Oh, I'm excited. All right. Thank you.